Hey guys, Christine here, and I set the intention for this reading to find you at the moment that you need to hear it. If you're watching this video, it is probably October 27th, or whenever you see this, this message may be for you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some things are going to really resonate, some things won't, and if it doesn't, we'll connect on a different day. Um, don't forget that I give away one free reading every month. I do a drawing on the 15th of every month. The way to enter for that, the link is in the information box below. I also am open for personal readings if you are interested. Um, also check the information box below. So let's see what you need to know. What does Spirit want you to know? Let's get right down to it. There's nothing to it but to do it. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Um, you know, sometimes where we're at is not exactly where we want to be. Right? Sometimes where we're at is exactly where we, like, we might not want to be. Like We know that something is coming, right? so we want to rush to that finish line to really get there. We want to um, you know, hurry up and get to that ending point. But what we forget, sometimes forget to do is really be grateful for where we're at and know that what we're going through really brings um, wisdom and guidance. So that way when we get to that final destination, we really, really appreciate what we what we have so th understand that when you appreciate the preciousness of life that everyone and everything around you has more meaning that is a very very simple thing to do yet a very very powerful thing thing to do every day and being thankful and grateful is like basically you're you're able to alchemize any kind of energy and you can introduce joy into a situation and then, you know peace activates suddenly Right, so that understand that the secret to every journey is really finding gratitude in every situation, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, because you know life brings us all kind of twists and turns, and those twists and turns, you know, sometimes are the best things that can happen for us that bring even better in. So find, like, find a way to be grateful for the things that don't work out. Um, no matter what you're experiencing, understand that things will will get better. That if everything was easy. It wouldn't make everything worth it. If everything was just handed to you, would you really appreciate it? So really, 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 really allow yourself to take a deep breath and let gratitude really fill your heart. So this is really saying just for me when I see this, it's like be grateful for where you're at. Understand that, you know, yeah, there's situations we are not happy about. But that is not the know-all and end-all of all things. But sometimes the work that we have to put into situations is actually what brings the meaning to the situation when it comes to fruition. That ultimately is what, what you really put your emphasis on, what is important. Sometimes the things that we think are important, when we're stripped down to that foundation, really end up being superficial. Right, so it's really about being grateful for everything you have and everything you're experiencing. Look at that. So right now, in the recent past, you're being asked to kind of leave something behind. Um, this could be a relationship. This could be a job. This can be anything um, that is asking you to move on, right? This could be about moving on from a mindset. What I'm going to do now is I really want to pull the other cards and see what I get from that before I go into reading more. Oh, wow. This is actually a really pretty reading. Look at this. You got 444 four, four, right in the middle. 444. Four, four. Divinely protected. Divinely protected. Being spiritually led, right? That's what I see here. 444 four, four, right in the middle. Amazing. Actually, you got 4444. Four, four, four. Four, 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 four. You got four fours. You got four fours in this reading four fours in this reading wow so here we got the eight of cups in the recent past this means you're having to leave something behind or you're, you or, or walk away from something that really wasn't serving you right and this the universe wants you to see this as an opportunity right as an opportunity but you're kind of closed off right now because it didn't work out the way you wanted to and it left you feeling a little disappointed 
Um, this is about understanding that, you know, you have to go within. You have to go within in order to have the celebration that you want, the freedom, the excitement that you're looking for. That you, right now, if you're feeling like things have been closed off for you, it's because you are closed off. You are closed off and you are being asked to let go and allow yourself to open up to opportunities as they come and see them for what they are. What you can do to help the situation is you don't want to control things. Don't control things. This is about really understanding that when you try to control things, it's about re releasing that control and surrendering. Surrendering, allowing yourself to rest and receive and listen to the messages that are being given to you and really don't get distracted by that negative thought pattern. And I hate to say negative, but the, the thought pattern that is not serving you, right? The, the outside chatter, the influence of others or things that are not for your highest good, you know, the attachment to things, the restriction. Allow yourself to really experience the freedom that is being given to you in the moment, right? Through this process, you are being led to release anything that is keeping you in a place of being restricted, right? And yes, I do feel like you're, you have, I feel, I feel some fear here, right? I feel some fear here. I feel like you always had to feel like you had to be in control. And now you might be realizing like you don't have any control over anything and you just kind of kind of take a chance and hope that everything is going to work out the best way it can. There are four fours here, which tells me that yes, absolutely it's going to work out in the best interest. But right now it's kind of like you're just going through it. You're just going through it. You have to not allow anything external to that is not not beneficial to you to influence you and here in the outcome is strength like this is like what you're going through right now is going to is going to require a display of strength right a display of courage a display of understanding that you are so much stronger than you would think and have compassion with yourself because just because you're strong does not mean you cannot be compassionate right? Just because you um, are able to approach things differently now doesn't mean that you aren't strong. It means that you have the ability to do the things that you need to do at the moment that you need to do them. But you have to trust that you are being divinely led here. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck here, I have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is about bringing balance. It's about equal give and take. It's about good, healthy relationships, right? But you have to trust that the universe is bringing them to you. Um, I feel like... I don't normally do twin flame readings, but with the four fours here, the the union card, the devil, and the strength, I feel like this definitely if you are a twin flamer, a twin flamer, if you're someone that believes in twin flames or are wondering about your twin flame union, um, this is like, hey, stop trying to control how it's going to happen. But this could be anyone in any any relationship. Specifically, I feel like a relationship where you had to walk away from something to really see what is important to you and what was not good for you. And look at this, as I get ready to look again, here we got the eight of, eight of Cups again. This is about there being a deeper meaning to something. That things, like, allow yourself to understand that things have a deeper meaning. The walking away doesn't mean you're giving up. It doesn't mean you're giving up. The moving on doesn't mean you're giving up. The moving on doesn't even necessarily mean that you're moving away from a person. The moving on could be that you're walking towards a new opportunity, a new beginning, a new way of doing things, a new way of thinking. Does that make sense to you? All right. So here we have the justice cards, which means that things will work out for you, right? And the judgment card and the six of cups. 
So if you're worried about, and I, I always say that when I read with these cards, it's about fears and worries. If you're worried about if things are going to work out, the answer is yes, they're going to work out in your favor, right? You have to release this because it came out in reverse. You have to release that doubt, right? The self-doubt. You have to release the self-doubt that's being caused by the relationships of the past, right? You have to understand you don't have to worry about whether there's a new relationship coming or not, right? Don't worry about that. That is not your concern right now. Your concern right now is to allow yourself to be open, allow yourself to open up, allow yourself not to need to control the situation, allow yourself to rest, allow yourself to celebrate life, celebrate where you are, because where you are required some walking away, which was a challenge, which was a challenge. So celebrate your celebrate the little wins that you're having because these little wins are actually where you need to have that grace and gratitude because they are teaching you strength. They are teaching you compassion. They're teaching you to understand what is important for you and how to let go of things that doesn't serve you. So don't worry too much about, you know, if things are going to work out or if there's going to be another relationship. The answer is yes, there's more coming for you. But you right now, you need to be very present in what's going on right now. Um, I'm so, I am so like shocked to see all the fours out here. But when I see the fours, it's about understanding that you're being divinely protected. You're being divinely led. Like this is all part of a bigger purpose and a deeper meaning. So allow yourself to really really see that that don't be so caught up in the the minor details of the things that aren't seeming to work right now because the minor details is not what you want to look at you want to look at that there's deeper meaning to what this is and the deeper meaning is that you are being you're being asked to really open up your heart right open up your heart open up yourself be open to new opportunities and that is how the happiness and the healing happens and you're, it's teaching you how to be strong and stand on your own two feet. It's teaching you how to not always have to control things and to be go with the flow and how to leave things behind that you don't need anymore. I know that's a lot of repetitive this, but I keep hearing like repeat it again, repeat it again. So what I want you to do now is I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to think of a question and let's see what comes out. For you. What does this person need to know about what they're thinking? Look at this opportunity, opportunity, opportunities are all around you, but are you allowing yourself to see them? That you'll know when, when the opportunity is right. You'll know when that it's time to make the moves, right? But the opportunities are being brought to you in this time of rest, in this time of really allowing you to receive your messages. Um, it'll come through a person, a place, or sometimes, you know, things that we listen to. So just allow yourself to really be open that this is really a time of positive growth and expansion for you, that opportunities will bring inspiration and insight, and it will, you'll take action when you're ready. Don't try to force anything, right? If you're trying to seek something out, know that you don't have to seek it. Your opportunity is going to come to you, and... It's going to bring things into your life that you are going to want. So just be open to it. Step up step up for the opportunities. Allow yourself to see them. Allow yourself to be open to receiving. Don't be so closed off. Don't be so closed off. So I hope this message finds you doing well. You know what? Oh, I was going to close it out, but I feel like I got to do one more card for you. Yes, spiritual alignment. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestations into emotion. So if, oh my goodness. So if this is a twin flame or if this is a relationship, right? Your spiritual alignment, your spiritual practice, your being in touch with your spirituality is going to be key to bringing it together, right? Bringing it together. There's a deeper meaning. So if your relationship has been based on very superficial things, you're being asked to really look deeper, deeper in yourself, deeper within people. Make sure that it's good for you that, and not bad for you, right? And when I say I show this card because this card is saying, hey, you want to make sure relationships are good for you, not bad for you. Make sure and when it's good for you, you want it to be good for you in your career. You want it to lift you up. You want a, a relationship that is going to be beneficial for you with your mindset. You want a relationship that's going to be better for you when it comes to 
personal growth, you know, to pa good for you for passion, good for you for, you know, all around, all around. But the key is for your manifestations to come in is you have to align yourself spiritually. You have to align yourself spiritually in order for you to really receive the things of your highest good. So continue to put the work in. You're doing a great job. You are going definitely healing here. Just continue. You have to surrender. Allow yourself to surrender. That's how you help your situation. Give it, if you can't, you know, if you can't do it, so that send it to the universe and let the universe do it for you. So if this reading finds you well, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if it resonates for you. And I hope it does. If it doesn't, we'll connect at another time. Don't forget to sign up for that reading. And I will talk to you soon.